we evolved our line to include all the attributes that were needed from all the different subsectors of law enforcement and military. If you look at law enforcement, if you're, if you're a SWAT operator, that's a very different requirement from a patrol officer or a canine operator. Uh, in military, you, you know, you may have an officer and you may have a special forces operator. We developed our rifle plates to meet the needs of those specific roles to help save their lives, to help increase their mission success by increasing their mobility because their weight and the bulk of their armor drops so dramatically with Duridium technology. All right, so I wanted to touch very quickly on the difference between multi-curve and single curve, something that uh, not a lot of operators really pay much attention to. They just know they had body armor and it goes into a pocket. ShotStop makes both. Uh, single curve and multi curve. It just depends on the agency's requirements. This is an example of a multi curve plate. It bends this way as well as this way. So it goes uh, horizontal and vertical in the curvature. And the idea is that this wraps the human torso more ergonomically correct. So it hugs the form a little more, it makes mobility easier, it's more comfortable is the idea. Um, this is highly dependent on the officer, uh, the, the shape of the officer. Some may be more barrel chested versus others. Some may have a larger abdomen, some may have a larger chest than others. And that can affect the comfort level of the plate. That's why we do actually make both single curve and multi curve. An example of one of our single curve would be this one. So it does curve in this direction as it's on you, it wraps around your torso, but it does not curve going up and down. It stays straight. So if I look at it like that, it's a straight, straight shot to you, whereas if we turn it this way, it's curving like this to wrap around your torso. Some people like this cut actually better. It is actually a personal preference for the officers. And the one complaint we have heard about the single curve is that when it's on a torso, sometimes this bubbles out, there's space here. And when you're looking down in a, in a patrol car or in a particular uh, activity that you're on, that can affect the range of motion. So you'll hear of other curves that are out there in the market. Basically, some people are calling triple curve, multi-curve. Some people are calling quad curve, multi-curve. Uh, and some people are customizing and patenting their own curvatures. Again, this is a preference. You should outline it in your specifications. You should be talking to your operators and say, what do we want? And then go from there and then find the right body armor for you. Now I'd like to talk just a little bit about the difference between the different coverings or coatings, you might call it, of the rifle plates that are on the market. There are a lot of options here, uh, but the two main ones that are kind of winning right now are either a polyurea coating, which is kind of like truck bed lining. Basically, it's just a very strong uh, poly coating that uh, definitely enhances the protective qualities of a rifle plate. And then you have military fabrics, uh, military grade fabrics, I should say. Cordura kind of being the leading one. And I have examples, ShotStop uses both depending on what the requirements from the customer are. This is a polyurea example. It does add to the durability, it helps with acid resistance, it, it helps with a whole lot, actually. It's a, it's a very strong coating and it will help your plates to have a longer shelf and active life. The other option that we'd mentioned was Cordura. That's the military grade fabric that we use and uh, we can use other military grade fabrics if requested by the client, but this is the one that kind of comes standard if you want the cloth. It's actually a, a little bit lighter, not measurable enough to say it's gonna drop the, the weight of the plate by 20 or 40%, but it does decrease the weight just a little bit. But in that, you lose a little bit of the protective qualities of not having polyurea coating. So that's really from a high level. There are other things to discuss about the differences between the coverings as well, but for all intents and purposes, that's probably the high level flyby of, of why you would wanna go with one or the other.